Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is a new mod map tour of the Angevin countryside. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, this is, pronounced correctly or not, the Angevin countryside. In the mod hub it says, Welcome to the beautiful map of Angevin. This is a realistic French map that comes from villages near Angers. You have five farms and a Kuma pour your pleasure. C-U-M-A pour your, I don't know. Anyhow, the fields and meadows should be easy to manage with small, medium, or big equipment. There's also a cow shed, pigsty, sheep pen, and riding stable. I created this map uh, for Farming Simulator 19, so have fun exploring. This is by Farmer and Jevin. This is 335.15 megabytes. This is for PC and Mac players only. It does have uh, nine required mods, which are just go to the mod hub. If you're on PC, which I guess technically you have to be for this, it doesn't download them automatically. You have to do it yourself. So the easiest way I find is if you go to the mod hub website and then click them all and then put them into the folder manually instead of doing it through the in-game mod hub, just so you know you have exactly what you need instead of searching the mod hub for them. Um, cause if you just click the links that are on the mod hub website on the pap the page for the map, then it will, uh, it will automatically download them. And then you just take them from your download folder and put them into your mod folder in the game. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a video on my, uh, channel on how to install mods. So it's not that hard. It's really pretty simple. After you've done it once or twice, then you're, you're pretty much set. So anyhow, back to the map here, we are on new farmer mode. Um, so if we jump into the menu here, yes, there's a lot going on immediately. You can see that. Let me get this pulled up. Okay, perfect. So on the map here, um, we'll actually come back to this. Let's go over to here. We'll turn that off, turn that down to one. Contracts are available on the fields. Obviously they're not going to pay out super well. That's an extremely poor contract. Um, you probably make like 10 times the contract value on the leftover of the crops. I mean, I don't know, I guess what field size it is, but Anyhow, you start off with $100,000 in new farm mode, no starting loan. Um, you have several pieces of equipment, which we'll look at in the store. And there's four sell points on here. Now, here's the map. It's not a huge, it's not a huge, uh, a huge map. It's a, it's a smaller map, but regardless. Uh, Kuma, this is the, what? So things are labeled, but <laughs> I'm assuming that's farm. Again, I could go look it up, but this is way more fun to do it this way. <laughs> so, um... What you start off with in new farm mode is nothing. You start with no land, so... But land prices, I mean, look at that. You can pretty much... You could buy several pieces of land to start off with. So, um, where is our equipment, though? It's all at this farm, so this is kind of alluding to being the starting farm. Um, so, that's $4,100 to buy, so we'll go ahead and buy that. I don't think there's a BGA on this map. There is not. Um, so, we have two sell points down here. The shop is down there. Uh, oops, nope. Um, and then... Let me get out of this mode real quick. And two more sell points up here. Those are the other two. Then farm, 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 farm. So you have sheep down here, horses up here. This one just has a fuel point. This has a fuel point and a uh, it's pigs there. Uh, I think all the farms have fuel points. There's no um, farmhouse on... Well, actually, well, there's one down here. So I guess that's interesting. But anyhow, there's a farmhouse down there. A fuel point there. And that's a cow pasture. And then this one also has cows here. So... Uh, there are some forest areas, as you can see, out here for 44 and 125,000. On um, the biggest field, looks like it might be 17. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Anyhow, so yeah, not a whole lot going on. But uh, let's go ahead and you can buy the store area or the surrounding area for 752,000 if you want to. Um, let's jump down in here. This would be nice for a small multiplayer map, that's for sure. Um, we will buy. That's interesting. Oh no, that's something, I was like, what is that little square there? But we'll buy that, since we can probably afford all these. Uh, this guy up here for 1,000. This guy up here for 3,600. Down here, 69. Is that one, that one has a silo as well, which most of them do not have. Uh, buy that one for eight. And then, yeah, that's pretty much everything. That's all the outside and excessive area and whatnot. So yeah, there's five farms on here. Um, since we're right here, we're probably going to just walk up, take a look at the animal dealer, then walk down to the main farm. Um, and then I'll probably buy something down here at the store. And that's where we'll start the tour from there. And we'll kind of drive around with that. But uh, yeah. All right. I think that's everything. There's no new crops, it looks like, or anything crazy like that. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and start out. Let's go ahead and set the time to noon so we can see a little bit better. Uh, we'll speed ourselves up a little bit. 
All right, so we're down here at the barbecue or whatever, this little house or residence or something right next to this field when you start out. Uh, so the animal dealer is just up here. This is the animal dealer in here, but holy cow, what in the world? I'm going to need to teach them how to landscape. But here's the animal trigger there, so I guess that just goes down into nothing. This goes out on a main road, but if we follow this down, kind of alludes to there being, oh yeah, this path, that goes up to the main road. So this path goes down here, past the starting point there. Look at that driveway up into there. Holy cow. Anyhow, <laughs> roads are a little wild, as you can see. But here we are down at the starting farm, kind of. You don't really own anything starting out, but I mean, that's just, it's easy to buy whatever farm you want to. So uh, in the store, we'll look at what we start off with. You start off with two Fabric 511Cs and a Fiat 1300 DT. You also have a New Holland TX32, a small trailer, a header for the New Holland. Uh, you also have a small cultivator, a cedar, it's not a direct drill, and two weights there. And it looks like you can sell a lot of the stuff that's modded in here. So, Akuma. Oh. I might have to look that up. But anyhow, <laughs> you can sell the farmhouse, which is fantastic as well. So, that is awesome. Now, you shouldn't have anything other than mods that are added in. Yeah, I believe a lot of these mods that are in here are just those mods that, that I'll let you guys look at. But they're the ones that are added in because of... Uh, gosh, what am I trying to say? Because of the required mods. So... Yeah, all right, so we should have animals somewhere here. How do we get to them? Oh, this is interesting. So this loops around here. This looks like a bunker silo. It doesn't have any of the indications of a bunker silo, so that's kind of strange. We do own this, right? Yeah, okay. Um, cows here, 100 cows can be fit into this barn here. Um, let's jump back over here. Anyhow, small farmyard, all your equipment's pretty much here. Looks like. Where's the uh, New Holland's over there? So yeah, basically it's all here. Um, some various junk, a, a surfboard if you needed it. Um, some stuff is sitting in there. I don't like the the unevenness, but I think that's part of the charm of the map. Part of the something that makes it a little bit different. It says up here, old tractor in there, but there's a field there. So yeah, all right. That's the starting farm. Um, we are now going to... You know what? That looks like that's actually the way down there, so never mind. I'll say we'll go down, check out that. We might actually head out this way and go check out these two cell points just while we're on foot in the area. Maybe we'll hop in a tractor. I don't normally drive the tractors around the map, but we'll just do it for this this one case here. Is that the way out? Be like a path. This looks like it might be it. Yeah, very tight uh sections here for this but uh hmm. yeah drive through that um and here are your cell points or two of your cell points right here here's the main road though that's oop, i hit a pole that's perfect let's drive through these cones it's fine <laughs> all right so one cell point is probably right there and then the other one Hmm, let's go ahead and tag them. There might be one over there on the other side. So we have that guy. Oh, right here. So yes, this is the cell point here. So then probably this one is the other portion of it. Yes, okay. So again, I don't speak French. Um, that's going to be your barn cell point. Um, and then we'll look at this one in here. So silage, grass, hay, and straw. And then we also hear with this guy, which takes wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, uh, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, eggs, and milk. Oh, also takes manure and slurry. Interesting. All right, so there's that guy. Um, all right, where are we at on the map here? Yeah, I want to take a look at those uh, separately. So let's hop down. We're going to hop down over to the store here, which look at this bad boy. That's me interesting there. Uh, we will fly over this at the end, but we'll hop down here at the store. A store trigger. We're going to go ahead and buy a vehicle for us to drive around in. Uh, we'll change that color just because I don't want it. And sure, and that's something different. I don't know. I change it every time I do this. All right, so we hop out and... Oh, wow. Well, that is something nifty and different. 
Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> so that's there. Um, over here we have a repair trigger. And then we'll take a look around the couple of cell points we have around in here. So if we head further up the road. I have, I think there's a couple in here. No, we're not quite there yet. Further, further along. So down this way, let's see what we got. All right, so we'll look at, there's one right here. Oh, this is gonna be your sawmill, it looks like. Um, that's this guy right down here, which isn't even in here. So that may not be, is there a wood chip cell point? There is not a wood chip cell point, so you might have to add something in. Uh, at least there's a wood cell point, which I, I'm sure this is the wood cell point here with that. But uh, I guess I can test that out real quick. Uh, now we'll just do a one so I can actually move it. That should work. Yep, so wood cell point back there. And then we're this is back where we were at. So that's just around the corner there if you head in um, through there. So then we have that place right there. That is looks like the, I mean, a spinnery type setup. Oh, no, it takes milk. Oh, milk, eggs, sugar cane. Oh, it takes a lot of stuff. Is that the one I have? Oh, no, this is the one I have tagged. <laughs> Just kidding. It is a spinnery. It's going to take cotton and wool. My bad, guys. Um, this is going to be the other one, which is right here. And that one's going to take, uh, we'll go back to the beginning, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, uh, sugar beets, potatoes, uh, sugar cane, eggs, and milk, as well as manure and slurry. So that is... That's all the cell points. Um, we'll hop to this guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out of the store, head down this way, um, and we'll head down here and take a look at this farm, I think is what we'll do. That'll be what we'll do first, and then we'll head up and take a look at the rest of the map. I don't anticipate this being too long of a map tour, mostly because it's not that big of a map. It's a nice little tidy map. So anyhow, these things do not have collisions. As you can see, I'm driving right through them, no problems. But uh, let me get a sip of coffee here. We'll take a look at that crevice that's off to our right. Um, actually, you can take a look at it right now. I don't know what this is going to look like. Henry <sighs> coffee. Oh, my. That is very cool. Also, I don't want to uh, drive into it. Looks like there's access on the other side, but... Anywho. I like that kind of feature on the roads there. That's kind of nifty. How it does if, you know, equipment's come out and gotten the roads all muddied up and whatnot. But, uh... Oh, dear. Another collision. It's not a farmer cop video without a collision, so prepare for those. <laughs> and uh, just over that way, that's where the, uh, well, what I'm going to call the starting farm because uh, that's where all the equipment was, is over that way. But down here, there's another farm, which we'll get to at some point. little bridgeway i like that that's pretty cool actually <laughs> neat little feature like that a lot of good detail on this map i'll give it that that's for sure so that looks like that i think is the road that goes down to kind of that that uh yeah that would eventually go down there okay and then actually we need to head up that road right there see if we can't make it through these bushes this is going to head to one of the other farms right in here so, I don't know if this bunker silo will come up. That one's not. So, I don't know if they're actually bunker silos or they work. Or they're not just, they just haven't been put in correctly. Just kind of strange. Um, this is uh, the, sh oh, this is the other cow farm. I was going to say, is it the sheep farm? No, it's the other cow farm. Where do you put the cows in? Hmm. Aha. Yeah, there we go. So, 200 cows here. There you have it. All right. Fabulous. You have a house right here. This is actually the farmhouse. Can you go into this thing? This thing looks pretty detailed on the inside. Oh, my. That open. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. This is gorgeous. I like this. I want this in my house in real life. Can I not get into there? Oop. Back up. That goes out that way. Got to be a way for me to get into the house. Maybe there's a different door or something. Looks like a door to me, though. Maybe not. Maybe it's around the front of the house. Or the so-called front of the house. Uh, that goes in that way. It's not a door. It's not a door either. Those are just big windows. How do I get into this thing? <laughs> I would think through here and into there. 
That would be the only... That's got to be the way in. Um, that's that one. Um, hmm. I'm confuzzled about that. I can't get a sleep trigger to come up either. It could be something super obvious I'm missing, but I'm not seeing, like, a obvious way to go. I mean, that goes into the garage, but that's not the house. Huh. Anyhow, might need an update. I'm not sure. Or it could be something I'm doing wrong. Anyhow, you have some sheds there, and yeah, that's it. That's all it really is. Oh, there's a fuel point. Did I look at the fuel point over here? I don't think I did. We'll jump over there. So fuel point. I don't see a fuel point. Unless it's this guy right here, I bet. Okay, now we'll jump back over to here. And I'm betting it is that guy right there. So, okay, perfect. That's the fuel point. Just to take a look at that real quick. We'll hop back in here. Um, I'll cut you guys out until I get back up to this uh, intersection here. So, yeah, I'll cut you guys out until I get to there. So I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so we're back right up here. So we're going to continue up this way, take a look at this farm, then this one, and then we will cut over and take a look at these two which I think it'll probably end up me, me going up here. We'll take a look at these two, then I'll cut you guys out again to get back down to here. So that's the plan. Oop, need to not hop out of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyhow, so I do apologize as well for these map tours that I'm doing this week to be out so late from when the maps came out. So I do apologize for that. I try to get them out pretty promptly, but sometimes it doesn't work out with my work and life schedule, if you will. All right. And we'll head this way. Actually, to make things a little faster, I can probably do that as well. But I did on my last map tour that I kept getting out. This is a beautiful place here. This is gorgeous. Like it would be a repair trigger, but this is a fuel point here. Come out this way. Yeah, okay. But that also goes through. So, negate there. Storage if you want. Plenty of space up in here. Farm silo here. Um, over here you have sheep faster, holds 120. And you have a storage shed there. I believe, are there light switches for these guys? Um, hmm. I mean, the lights are on, I guess, so. Anyhow. <laughs> okay, let's head back out of here. I'm surprised I didn't hit anything making that turn. I was shocked, honestly. All right. I'll head up to that orange farm area. Nope, not this one. Or is it that one? Nope, the next one. Okay, so we'll head this way. A lot of crazy bushes along the roadways here and interesting power lines, but... Uh, oh, of course I hit a power line, but... Uh, yep, just to demonstrate that... What am I hitting? Am I still hitting that power line? Jeez Louise. But uh, just to demonstrate, those bushes can be driven through. Kind of looks jungle-esque almost. <laughs> as crazy as the bushes are. Um, yeah, I have been to France, but I haven't been to anything really outside of Paris. Paris, where I spent most of my time. I well, I did go to Verdun, but uh, I say, how do I get into this farm? But it's up here. The entrance is right this way. This is kind of a nifty entrance. Something a little bit different. There's the grain quid storages by Missy B right there. We have a waypoint here. And this is some sort of storage. Oh, this is the grain quid. So this is also kind of a silo as well. It serves as fuel points, storage in there. And then I'm assuming you can get into these guys. Yep, get into there. These guys open up. I believe these are mods that have already come out. Uh, if I, my understanding is correct. Can't get into there, but anyhow, they'll drive out and around. Yeah, beautiful. We have horses here, which, where are they at? Is that not the way to get into them? Um, right there. Okay, 16 horses, so nothing too wild there. Can you get into these? Yeah, okay. Some nice detail inside there. 
<laughs> some very nice detail in here if I can get in which I'm struggling to anyhow you can see the detail in there is nice I do like that kind of off and beyond too it kind of looks like a I know it's a little blurry but it does look like there's farms and stuff that continue on the rest of the map all right we are up here need to get up to here now that guy I don't even know how to get to that guy so what we're gonna do there's not really any roads that go across so we're just gonna cut across we're just gonna drive across I was gonna do a cut but you know what just to get more of a feel of the different fields and stuff that's on the map I think this will be more beneficial than just me cutting and jumping to that spot especially since we can drive through the stuff Make sure we're heading the right direction angle down a little bit yeah so there there are some big fields in here there's some interesting terrain it's kind of some rolling hills it kind of really flows there's a nice landscape flow to it where it's not there's just some hilly fields and some super flat fields it just seems like real farmland which i think is a very nice feature all right so the way to get into this farm is going to be right here ish oh geez almost lost control there but heading into here, this gate should get you in. Make sure that actually opens. Yep. Okay. Water source there. Hmm. Anyhow. Storage. If you'd like. Yeah. Storage, I suppose. And uh, is there anything else on this one? Other than there should be a fuel point. Oh, I bet you these open up. Oh, together. Okay. Fuel point. Fabulous. So just kind of a big open uh, farm area. Yeah. Nothing too crazy about it. Oh. All right. Well, there's that. We have one more farm to take a look at before we do a flyover and wrap this tour up. Back up here. And we'll head out this way. All right. Where are we at? Yeah, we want to loop out there. So we'll head down and we'll cut across here. Actually, we can just enter right here. Dude, like that, that I love some of the detail here. Just That's just the way they would get into that field here. Fabulous. It truly does have a good flow to it. And I don't even know how you'd get into some of these fields. It's just some of it would be a little bit complicated, but yeah. You'd head this way. This field's massive here. It's a grass field. And we jump into the final farm. Thank goodness we don't need that anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I had fun doing that. Um, okay. Open. Ooh, that's interesting. Is that open separate? That's... That's peculiar. What goes in here? Pigs? You have to go in there to get pigs in here? Interesting. 300 pigs there. I had a duck to get through that. Hmm. Pig stalls. This is a modded pig pen as well, I believe. Yeah. The light switch. Oh, that's the doors. Oh, ho. ah, never mind. It's all coming together now. That's good because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get anything in there that you needed to get in there. Lights? Is that all this farm has up on it? Yeah, it's just this. Interesting. This is kind of the way in. Uh, one final thing, actually, I want to look at. Let's go ahead and purchase field 33, and let's go ahead and take a look at... Oh, not the garage. Uh, let's take a look at the landscaping textures you have available. Something I try to do with every map, but sometimes I forget. So field 33. So let's get a bigger paintbrush there. So kind of a dirt texture there, cement. That, ooh, grass one there didn't have any grass growing on it. That's kind of concerning if you want grass to happen. I think that might be, oh no, that's not, is that the original one? Yep, that is, okay. The wet stand, some rocks, some tiles there, gravel. And again, the grass textures don't have any grass. So that's kind of concerning. Uh, mulch texture, kind of a dirt one. The two standard pavements and then this kind of a mucky dirt looking thing. So 
there you have that. Let's go ahead and do a flyover. And we'll speed ourselves up a little bit more. So pig farm, yeah, that's all it is. So that's the way out of the pig farm. Coming down here, this is the Kuma. Uh, yep, there it is. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of irregular shaped fields in here, some different chunks of land like that one's really, really uh, spectacular. <laughs> um, anyhow, here's the one big farm down here at the grain quid storages. That's a nice farmyard, actually. Uh, moving down here. Another farmyard in here. And this forest area you do have access to, so this is actually a really large forest area for how small this map is. So there's actually quite a bit of forestry that can be done. Um, there's the map of the of the map, the map of the map. Right there. Interesting feature. There's store and stuff up there. And then this guy is really cool here. I kind of like this, this setup here. This kind of lake, rock, lake, ravine type setup. A small field, yeah. So some of the fields are just absolutely just tiny, absolutely small. This looks like a kind of a grassy meadow with some trees in it. But yeah, that is the farm in all essences. But uh yeah, if you enjoyed this map tour, drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.